I got a new set of questions. This one's going to be a little shorter, but let's get into this. When it comes to you, what was the turning point of your career as a writer? When I looked online to see the internet, when I looked online to see if the internet was showing any results on my books, and I saw a huge thread being discussed about my work, it wasn't the nicest or even po or even a positive thread. But that's when it was the turning point. Seeing people come collectively to call it Suggsverse, Although I was officially calling it something else was very lifting. It reminds you of what legends are made of. The people give you the name rather than the name you give yourself. What made you go for the first time? Yes, this is good. No, he said, yes, this is really good. When I wrote the Limits of Power storyline. This isn't a published title. It's one of my unpublished works. That's in my chest. That's what inspired me to write the first Heir to the Stars book. However, I have evolved as a writer since then, and I definitely appreciate more stories over some others now. When it comes to the works themselves, what is the highest tier that any other work you've seen reached in relation to Heir to the Stars? Hmm. Tier 8. Yeah, I'm not going to even exaggerate that one. Tier 8. Believe me when I say I do not spend much time looking at others' works. Do I take an idea here and there? Absolutely. When I was in college studying for my bachelor's in secondary education for English, one of the most fundamental lessons I learned was to absorb information to make your worldview greater. If you see something that can expand your work, absorb it and make it your work. Use it to make your work better. Obviously, don't outright plagiarize, but build upon it and make it better. At the same time, I don't spend too much time looking at the cosmology or tiers of other works. This stuff is brought to my attention, and as far as I can see, nothing gets beyond tier 8. The low end of high in tier 8. But again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is some info that contradicts my beliefs. I am open to challenging that notion. I'm open to changing my mind. What inspired the theme of transcendence with an heir to the stars? Was it battle shonen, philosophy, or something else? I have a folder on my computer called Akashic Records. I have an individual folder for numerous topics, ranging from all astronomical events, dimensions, ego, gods across the planet. You so much. Infinity, many world theories, mathematics, meta mathematics, logic, meta logic. Um, phenomenon, philosophy, psychology, probability, paradoxes, nature, science, summum, theory, universal, wave physics, and so much more. Each folder has hundreds of texts and articles and information on it. And I only named some of the folders. When I say a ton of work has gone into this, I am not exaggerating. Then comes the notion of how do I surpass something that I'm writing about? You know, what type of, how do you surpass this concept? How do you surpass you know this battle how do you surpass this ability that should pretty much be the be all end all well since every story in my work deals with the form of transcendence i was inspired by quite a lot to basically fit into the theme of this i hope that answered that one what character has caused you difficulty to write tense fights due to being overpowered any finale or overture from air to the stars overture that's a book that needs a complete reboot as well. I have a vastly different vision from when I wrote that story a decade ago now. But even then, it was very difficult because those were the strongest introduced in the series. When the reboot of that story comes out, it will definitely redefine the scale of tier 8. Also, I don't believe in overpowered. There's always a bigger fish. Sometimes you meet someone where your tactics and strategies and experience, it means nothing to them. Sugverse refers to a series of books written and published by Lionel Suggs, officially titled Heir to the Stars. Those who have heard of it may know it as a work that focuses excessively on the power levels to the point of surpassing omnipotence on multiple levels, and even that may be an understatement. The main story begins with in-universe author and narrator the Ace of Space leaving his station after creating seven possible successors and the ensuing power struggles they face to obtain his position. 